A few of your texts coming in here um, this morning, uh, an alternative view on the uh, Jimmy Savile story. Um, this text says, I wish everyone would stop criticising Jimmy Savile. He was a nice man. When I was eight, he fixed it for me to milk a cow blindfolded. That's a strange one. Mm. And actually, on the point of texts and tweets, um, unfortunately, earlier in the programme, I was the victim of a prank text about Jimmy Savile, which I mistakenly read out rather naively. I am very sorry if I've uh, caused any offence, but uh, apologies, it was a genuine mistake. Fine. You want to play hardball, Talia? Let's play hardball. Okay. Let's talk military aid. That's right. Let's touch that third rail. Are you mad? Do I look like Latvia to you? We're Israel. Israel. Your Congress won't do anything that would hurt us. Trust me, arms can be twisted. Plus, I'm mishbuka with every Jewish senator. Boxer, Schumer, Feinstein. <laughs> it's not the Jews who protect us. It's Texas, South Carolina, Mississippi. It's your right-wing neocon super-Christians. And they don't even like Jews. They just need us here to keep the lights on for their fucking messiah. Uh, one of the one remaining ones is the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin and Netanyahu, uh, his UN ambassador, posted a tweet yesterday that expressed the frustration that the call hasn't happened already. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us from the White House uh, perspective, you know, why hasn't that call happened and when do you expect it will happen? The president looks forward to speaking with Prime Minister Netanyahu. Uh, he's obviously somebody that he has a long-standing uh, relationship with, and obviously there's a important uh, relationship that the United States has with Israel on the security front and as a as a key partner in the region. Uh, but uh, he'll be talking with him soon. I don't have a specific date or time for you on that call yet.